Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Vox Markets for Friday the 11th of June. Starting off with Braveheart Investment Group where we've got uh, the shares bumping along the bottom. 40 pence has been the support for the stock uh, basically since the beginning of last month but we had a brief dip uh, on Wednesday down to 38 and the shares have bobbed back up since then. We've also got bullish divergence with the lower low, the lower price low uh, matched by a higher RSI trace so that does suggest there's some positive momentum building here. Uh, we're also in a, a broadening triangle which has been in place since the beginning of last month and while we're above 38 pence looking towards the top of the, the triangle at 60 pence as soon as the end of next month so the main driver there though the bullish divergence which uh, shows hidden positive momentum uh, behind the shares at these lower levels moving along to a stock which uh, wouldn't normally appear here but because uh, we are rather thin at the moment on uh, contenders we've got uh, Gulf Keystone uh, breaking that line of resistance which has been in place since March of £1.80. About £1.80 looking towards a rather ambitious uh, looking target. Uh, it's a January resistance line projection heading towards around uh, £2.55. That could be seen maybe over the next couple of months so going into August, mid-August, something like that. But obviously uh, if we get a decent push as we did from like say November to uh, January it might be a little bit sooner might actually be able to get there by the end of next month this stage only really back below the 50-day line that's £1.73 really delaying the upside scenario moving along to a stock which I think I covered uh, before um, as a potential uh, stock that might be uh, looking bullish uh, we've got IQAI uh, here we had that uh, move um, after the bear trap uh, below the uh, six and a half pence area the brief one sort of three four day bear trap below that level and uh, that was the uh, sort of the reason for potentially looking at this as a positive scenario we've had a spike up today towards 11.1 pence but we've got a broadening triangle top there at uh, 12 pence which could eventually be hit by the end of next month especially while there's no end of day close back below the 50 day line currently at 7.63 pence so the chance of uh, IQAI finally giving us a decent spike something which uh, we saw back in November with that uh, vertical move towards 24 so let's see if uh, the shares can deliver again on to a rather more steady situation well, I know there's lots of uh, followers on which is uh, Cadence Minerals uh, here this week has seen the shares break that April resistance line there at 30 pence and if we can get a decent weekly close above 30 pence today then we're looking towards the top of the rising trend channel from the beginning of the year up to 40 or 41 pence by the end of next month really lucky by the end of this month but at the moment uh, just going for the end of July uh, at, at 40 plus while we hold above 30. At this stage only really back below the 50 day line and the floor of the channel from January at 27 pence really delaying or questioning the upside scenario. Stock which has been understandably uh, slightly uh, difficult over the recent past is uh, Mo Global. Uh, obviously uh, oscillating with the Bitcoin price but uh, looks as though we've finally broken out of this uh, falling uh, well this uh, I suppose the floor of this uh, broadening triangle that's been in place since March uh, just nudging down to 40 pence retesting uh, that uh, January resistance and coming back quite well uh, over the last 24 hours uh, broken that line of resistance from April and the 20-day moving average at 45 more we're above that looking for 60 pence we've had a lot of full storms before so the reason for uh, assuming that this will not be a full storm apart from uh, the bear trap from below may support is the bullish divergence here so we've got a, a lower low on the price but a higher low on the rsi and that does suggest as i suggested with a, another stock uh, here today uh, that there is hidden uh, bullish activity or bullish momentum behind this situation now but at, uh, at least a move back towards the upper 50s or around 60p uh, could be on the cards and just I suppose maintaining a 40 to 60 pence range uh, that we've had of late apart from those two spikes that we had towards 80 pence earlier in the year on to Metal Tiger which uh, is normally good for some technical interest and at the moment uh, the interest really is the uh, bouncing of the shares off the initial May resistance around 28 pence quite a nice bounce today and also a bounce off the floor of the rising trend channel from the end of February uh, top of the channel they're heading towards uh, 38 39 pence uh, perhaps as soon as the end of uh, this month but probably the end of next month for the stock and uh, if we can get that then maybe uh, the shares will finally break out of the consolidation that we've had uh, for quite some time but uh, the overall pattern here really uh, the, the, the shares finding new support at uh, former resistance 
around 28 pence, or 20 pence, 28 pence of resistance for last summer in general for the shares. Moving along to a stock which is um, a sort of a punting favourite, I suppose, uh, Mobility One, uh, and looking as though it's trying to get its act together now. We had that spike towards uh, 60 pence uh, last summer, and it looks as though the shares could uh, head towards the top of the rising trend channel from the end of February uh, up to 60 pence uh, again, or towards 60 pence again. The upside value will be hold above uh, initial June resistance of 40 pence, above 40, looking for 60 on Mobility One. And it just look, it looks as though we've got a a more steady move to the upside as compared to what we saw last year. Nova City is uh, next, and uh, let's see where we are on uh, this situation. Uh, sort of going back and back and back on this uh, stock. We're obviously looking at the old August September support area for the shares near to three pounds. On this occasion, we might get away with uh, the stock not having to get down to three pounds, but the it's a very slow volatility that we've had after the gap down. Uh, suggests that perhaps uh, the shares are building a base and there's also bullish di a divergence of so the lower price lows but higher RSI lows over the last month or so it does suggest that uh, there is accumulation going on there. We've also broken a uh, resistance line there from last month uh, versus today's low around uh, £3.36 and above 336 looking to perhaps uh, fill that gap, the top of that gap there at uh, 403 over the next few weeks perhaps by the end of this month uh, but uh, only while we hold above the three the mid 330s for Novasit stock which I looked at uh, looked at already this week but uh, it's worth a repeat given the the lack of contenders that we have uh, had a gap higher yesterday we've held the gap and had a low above yesterday's low and the gap so that gives us a sort of notional technical uh, entry on the shares around uh, current level so around uh, the two pence level and we're chasing the top of the broadening triangle there from uh, back in September as high as three pence by the end of next month, especially while we hold above uh, the gap floor, which is at 1.7 pence, so above 1.7, looking for three pence on prospects at the moment. Stock which I haven't looked at uh, for quite a while, if at all, actually, is uh, staff line. But uh, here we've got an interesting, uh, sort of couple of interesting dips here, we're down towards 50 pence. Sort of bear trap dips below the initial um, June support at 52 and a half pence and the longer we remain above 52 and a half and the floor of that rising trend channel from November the greater the chance of a move towards uh, 90 pence plus perhaps as soon as uh, the beginning of August for the shares if you are cautious you'd wait either for an end of day close back above the 50 day line at 65 pence or perhaps better uh, a gap close i.e an end of day close back above the top of the uh, uh, the gap down that we had last month at uh, 60, well, let's call it 68 pence, and so really close above 68 pence, taking the shares up towards 90 pence plus by August. And we've also got sort of a, a other sort of uh, smaller positive points, uh, the way they've got the 200 day moving average rising, and we haven't touched that one on the latest dip, and also the RSI breaking through the neutral 50 level to 53, so that does tip the balance back in favour of the bulls. Finishing off uh, with a quite um, rampant stock at the moment, uh, War Paint, um, which has done what you want it to do, really. Um, gap through uh, resistance, so the old peak there in April at uh, £1.44. The longer we stay above that, the greater the chance of a move towards £2, which is the top of the rising March trend channel. Uh, ideally, there's no break back uh, below the floor of uh, today's low, which is uh, the floor of the, uh, the top of the gap, rather, at £1.47. So mid 140s and uh, and above up towards two pounds for war paint as soon as the end of next month that's it for me today more updates early next week